Impact Fitness, one of Robbins, Georgia. Hope you guys are having a great weekend and you're going to be ready to work hard come Monday morning or Monday evening when you come in here. Uh, the mindset principle for this week <laughs> is we don't want you guys to fall into the trap that most people fall into this time of year. When it gets warmer, a lot of you get into the mode of, I'm going to really start working out hard and and eat better, that's good mindset to go into it. But a lot of times, you try to really restrict your calories on some kind of fad diet, and then you try to really work out hard at the same time. And that just doesn't work. Your body's gonna shut down. You're actually gonna lose more muscle than fat if you do those types of fad diets where you really restrict your calories too much, and then you come in here and try to work out really hard. It just doesn't work that way, okay? And then a lot of you try to add a bunch of cardio this time of year. I need to get more cardio in so I can lose some, some weight. No, if you do too much cardio again, you can lose muscle, not fat, okay? Especially if you're not eating enough protein spread out throughout the day, all the things that we tell you based on a whole food diet. If you're confused about that, we have a simple sheet we can give you. It may not be as fancy as these info commercial uh, weight loss programs that you see uh, late at night, but it's the basics and it really works. It's really simple. You're eating a whole food diet, you're eating three balanced meals, two healthy snacks, drinking your water, get plenty of sleep, getting three to four boot camp style workouts in a week. Yes, you can add a little bit of cardio in there. Mainly, the best thing to do is just get out there and walk more, get more active. You don't have to pound those joints on the concrete out there by running. You can just walk and get go to the park or do whatever to get more active, to get a little more calorie burn in, okay? Come on in with a great attitude this week. And if you need that little sheet, again, some of you have seen this sheet before, just a, a sheet to kind of break down uh, protein, carbs, and fats, and how to put your meals together, okay? Come on in, we'll see you soon. All right, first station, you're gonna do a push-up tuck or a push-up hike, either one. Pike is a little harder, she's doing a push-up tuck. There's the pike. Yeah. A little bit harder. Doing an elevator on the step, because I'm trying to help you guys out a little bit, give you a little better angle, especially to do the tuck with. Push up tuck, push up pike. Get it right. All right, second station. You're holding some dumbbells about chest high. She's squatting, coming out of her squat into a kick. Good normal squat, sitting on her heels. Feet are straight, no plie. Core tight throughout as always. Yeah, squat low. Kick them right in the head. Bam! Explode up. That's it. All right, on the core trainer. You're going to squat low, press it high. We call these lumberjacks. Stay on the balls of your feet. You're leaning into it a little bit. Elbows tight. Keep your elbows underneath your hands. Make sure your elbows aren't flared out. There you go. Good squat. Press it high. Obviously, you can challenge yourself with this one with some weight if you wanted to. Or just rep it out. Either way, if you've been coming a while, like I said, you need to be challenging yourself with some resistance. It's not going to bulk you up. It's just going to get you leaner and fitter, faster. All right, on the straps, we're going to do side line. You got your feet hooked into the strap. You're trying to open up. Forearm right underneath your shoulder. If you can, take your feet off the wall. You're not trying to put your feet on the wall. It makes it a little bit harder. Yeah. Just hold this position. Obviously, if this is too advanced for you, we can do it on the ground. Do it from your knees. We got all kinds of modifications. <laughs> Why did you stop? Oh, too you're showing bad. the modification? <laughs> it's too hard for the trainer. Yes. <laughs> all right, stability ball squats. You're holding a medicine ball in your hands, trying to keep it off your chest. Squat low. Keep your weight over your heels. Flat back, core tight again, as always. She's even going a little bit past 90. That's, that's, all, that's okay if you can do that. But at least try to get to 90 degrees. Hold that ball off your chest. And really control the movement. Focus on the form. All right, last station. A little side straddle hop with the PVC pipe with the water in it. Just swinging it above her head. She's trying to swing it up there. She's not shoulder pressing it up there. She's swinging it out away from her body if you if you notice what's going on here, she's swinging it up there with her feet going out, soft landing. Not very high impact at all. She's getting some good cardio in, working that body. 
getting the whole kinetic chain involved with this intense side straddle hop. <laughs> <laughs>